Where once there was one, now there are three. Gavin, you're here from ultimatereloader.com. If you haven't noticed, Lee Precision has completely redesigned their die lock rings. You're probably familiar with the good old fashioned hex aluminum die lock ring from Lee with the rubber O-ring. They've become a mainstay for decades. Now recently, when I unboxed the Lee Pro 1000, you're gonna to wanna to check out that video. I noticed that now by default, the die lock rings have splines on them. There's a cool little wrench that you can use to tighten the lock ring from almost any position. That's the new basic standard for Lee lock rings, but there's also the ultimate die lock rings. These are of a split design and are tightened in place so that they won't move. And also the lock ring eliminators, which work with the breech lock system, a quick change die system. Let's look at each of these in detail, see what's new and see how these have changed. So here's all of the lock rings together. We've got the old school hex die lock ring. We've got the new spline version of that. As I mentioned in my Lee Pro 1000 video, I give an overview of setting up dies and I show using this die lock ring wrench, which comes with the ultimate lock ring set to adjust the dies and to lock down the die lock ring. The ultimate lock ring set comes with three split versions of the basic lock ring. So it's got the splines, so you can use the wrench with it, but it's got this screw and clamp arrangement so that it'll lock itself to the die and therefore not rotate when you screw the dies in and out of the press. And then we have the lock ring eliminator set, which is four splined lock rings that are split, but they've also got the integral breech lock bushing feature. So these attach to the dies, they lock themselves in place, and then they pop in and out of the press if you've got a breech lock equipped press. Let's see the setup for the ultimate lock rings and the lock ring eliminators. So here I've got the Lee breech lock challenger press. This has the breech lock bushing system and I've got the bushing installed here and clicked into place. See the little button come up there so that we can treat this like a traditional 7 8 14 threaded press. I've got a 6 5 Creedmoor full length sizer die and we're going to take one of these ultimate lock rings and start screwing that onto the die. And we can feel that familiar compression of the O-ring, just like with the old school standard die lock rings from Lee. And I'm just gonna screw the die down until it hits the shell plate. And of course we would wanna fine tune this and check shoulder bump or with the case gauge, something like that. Okay, so there we are, we're all the way down. Now we're gonna screw the die lock ring down until we feel the rubber O-ring compress a little bit. We can take a small Phillips screwdriver and tighten the cross clamp, feel it snug down. And now if we remove the die, we're gonna notice that the lock ring is held in place and we can adjust that tension. That was a little bit on the loose side. If we screw that down just a little bit more, we can feel that that's very, very snug now. So once you get it set the way that you want it, you can secure that screw and get things locked down accordingly. Next, let's look at the lock ring eliminator. So I've removed the breech lock bushing from the press because the lock ring eliminator is gonna take its place. So we're just gonna push that down in and then rotate it while pushing down on the button until it stops rotating. Now we can screw that same 6.5 Creedmoor die in. I'm gonna raise the ram to the top of the stroke until it touches the shell plate. And yes, we would want to make fine adjustments to the depth to make sure that we had set up the die according to our reloading requirements. Okay, I can feel that lock down. I'm gonna push this button each time so that it doesn't get bound up on these splines. And just that quickly, we can remove the die and the lock ring eliminator from the press. It's gonna go in just as quick, very, very quick and convenient way to get your dies adjusted and in and out of the press. So there you go, three different types of updated Lee die lock rings that are available separately with die kits and with presses and press kits, as you saw with that recent overview video I did covering the Lee Pro 1000. Now, make sure you're subscribed with notifications because I've got a lot more cool Lee content coming up, including an in-depth overview of both the Pro 4000 press kit and the latest Lee Loadmaster kit. 
Also, this video is a part of the budget shooting and reloading playlist here on Ultimate Reloader. So if you are reloading on a budget, you're going to want to check that out. First link in the video description is going to have links to product pages and more information about these products. Also, I've got Ultimate Reloader shirts at the Ultimate Reloader store and I'm on Patreon. Links in the video description. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.